would you say are your top tips if you for for non non salespeople professionals who are needing to sell and when they first first start going about it, what do they have to keep in their head? Right. Um, it's interesting that you ask about tips because I think that um, I think a lot of people uh, are, are are somewhat passive learners in that respect where they walk into a learning experience and they're hoping to uh, acquire a few tips uh, almost like like you know cherry pick the things that they think might might perform miracles for them uh, you know one size fits all solutions or or magic bullets and I very much look at things in a different way I, I I hope that people get tips from what I say but I but I'm what's more important to me is that they that they learn a process, not that might work here and there, or in you know when you're when you when you're faced with this particular situation. Oh, remember this top tip. Instead, I, I'd rather provide for them a, a process that works in almost every single environment, in almost every single interaction. Um, that takes a lot more work on my side to be able to consider the different uh, uh, situations that might occur and and to to, to put together a process that might apply to these varied situations, but I believe that that's the kind of information that works best. That's the information that sticks with people. I think a lot of people, when they come to training, uh, I think you probably noticed that they come into training and they, and, and, and they might enjoy the day, but they walk away and with some enthusiasm and hope to change a few things and put these tips into practice, but because these tips are all sort of you know, isolated and, 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 and hard to remember. Um, they might put a few into practice here and there, but they don't necessarily have, do it routinely. And so the, the benefits of those tips er erode over time because they're not used and, and, and as well, they don't apply in many of the situations that you find yourself in in reality. So what I prefer is, is that people come out of my learning experiences with real clear uh, actionable processes to put into place from the very next day um, that they see me and that they work with me. Um, processes that they can that they can use in almost any interaction. Processes that that uh, allow for variety in people, in in, in products, um, in 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 modes of communication, whether it's on the phone or whether it's in person. Processes that they can put into place that in just doing that process reinforces the memory of that process and then being able to then uh, deliver on that time and time and time again so that it becomes a new way of doing things and that's what I'm more interested in uh, people learning and that's what I think benefits them the most is a process that they can repeatedly exercise become better at as opposed to random tips and tricks that may or may not work for the wide variety of circumstances.